This is Leadership Plus. I'm Dave Edwards. Chances are you've seen the kind of fundraising letters that uh, I get from time to time. Perhaps maybe you've even written a few letters like this. Uh, they start off by describing the organization's goal. They say, oh, we need to raise $75,000 this month in order to meet our goal. Please help us. I can't think of, of, a, of a more unimaginative way of asking me to contribute money. Because what you're asking me to do is to meet your goal. You're not giving me a reason to want to contribute other than to help you make your goal. <laughs> What's in it for me? In his article, Donor Retention, What Do We Know and What Can We Do About It? Adrian Sargent of the Lilly Family School of Philanthropy at Indiana University wrote about taking a donor-centric approach to fundraising. Sargent researched how nonprofit organizations can do a better job of building a relationship with their donors. Here's some of his advice. Make sure that donors receive an appropriate and prompt thank you. Donors should receive quick responses to their questions, suggestions, or complaints. All communication with donors should be respectful and polite. Make sure donors know how their contributions are being used. I'll add a few more. Be open and transparent about your finances. Post your annual financial statements and audits on your website. Once an individual has made a gift of support to your organization, reach out to them. Find out why they made their first gift. Find out what is really, truly important to them about your organization. For your largest donors, you probably want to have those conversations in person. For smaller donors, maybe you can send an email survey or make a telephone call. Either way, it's important that you reach out to them so that you get a better understanding of what triggers their support. Here's another one. Use your board members as ambassadors. Let them help make some thank you calls to your donors. So the next time your organization conducts a review of its fundraising practices, it's a good idea to think about the connection that you make with your donor why they contribute, the trust factor between you and that individual. Oh, and don't forget this. The person who calls to complain about something may be capable of making a very large gift to support your organization if you respond to their concerns seriously. And the next time you write a letter to your donor, make sure that you tell them how their contribution will benefit them, not just help you meet your goal. What do you do to build your relationship with your donors every day? That's today's Leadership Plus. I'm Dave Edwards. If you're interested in more ideas about management, leadership, and productivity, I'd ask that you visit my website at daveedwardsmedia.com. And oh, by the way, click the like button uh, to this video and consider subscribing. Thanks.